everyone. I'm Chetna Bindra, and I'm a group product manager at Google, focused on user trust and privacy. Welcome to our first five minutes or less video for marketers. We created this series to help you, our advertising partners, navigate the complex changes that are happening in our industry. We'll cover a variety of topics and share helpful advice along the way. Today's episode will be focused on giving you an introduction to the Privacy Sandbox. So let's get started. Question one, what is the Privacy Sandbox? Chrome started the Privacy Sandbox to invite the web community to collaborate on creating privacy-first alternatives to tracking technology like third-party cookies. The goal is to keep giving companies ways to grow by reaching people with relevant ads and measuring the results without needing to track people across the internet. Google's ads teams considers the sandbox to be one part of a wider set of privacy-focused solutions, along with capabilities like first-party data and machine learning. Next question, why was the privacy sandbox started? People are increasingly concerned about how their personal information gets collected and used online. In fact, 81% of people say that the potential risks they face because of data collection outweigh the benefits. People are no longer satisfied with the way things are today. That's where the Privacy Sandbox can help, by supporting important advertising use cases with privacy-preserving technologies instead of individual identifiers. The Privacy Sandbox will help to enable a safer, more sustainable, and more private internet. Question three, what's in the Privacy Sandbox? Within the Sandbox are privacy-preserving proposals for use cases such as interest-based ads, measurement, and fault protection that are designed to work for businesses. Say, for example, you want to show people ads based on their interests. Today, third-party cookies are used to track people across websites to determine what they are interested in. With technology being developed within the Sandbox, Marketers can improve privacy while seeing results from interest-based ads by reaching large groups instead of individuals. This could even be done in such a way where people's information never leaves their devices and stays private. Question four, when will the technology be ready? New technology being proposed in the privacy sandbox will go through a few stages before being broadly adopted. Proposals start with public evaluation and experimentation, where companies can discuss, test, and provide feedback on the approaches. The goal is to eventually launch features in any browser that decides to adopt these technologies. For instance, Chrome plans to make these technologies available for the developer community to start adopting by late 2022. Then ad tech providers can start using them in their products. Finally, what can advertisers do today to prepare? Most marketers do not need to be experts on these technologies. That's because ad tech providers, including Google, will do most of the work switching from third-party cookies, so you will still be able to continue buying ads on the platforms you rely on today, but through technology that is private by design. Until then, there are some important steps that you can take today that are going to work well alongside the Privacy Sandbox technologies when they are ready. One, look for opportunities to build trust through direct relationships with your customers. And to help ensure you can use relevant customer insights in your marketing, it is important that you have a comprehensive first-party tagging and consent solution for your website and app. And two, Take advantage of solutions that use automation and machine learning to help identify trends and model results when there are gaps in your data. Thank you for watching this episode of Five Minutes or Less. I hope I was able to answer some of the questions on your mind about the Privacy Sandbox. As I mentioned, this is the first in a series, so stay tuned for the next episode. I know I speak for the rest of Google's ads teams when I say that we look forward to partnering closely with all of you on this industry evolution.